Hey guys, it's Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you, and today we're just going to be taking a quick look in Cheat Engine itself at a new feature that is in there since I believe 7.0 or 7.1 called Code Filter. And this is for those of us who cannot use the Ultimap because Ultimap is uh, only used on Intel. So uh, Darkbyte has programmed another little feature that we can possibly use to uh, weed out running functions to find addresses. So this is considered like a last resort also. It's very frustrating. You will crash your game a lot. Uh, so bear that in mind. And like I say, it could take you hours and days doing it this method also. I'm just doing something real easy on the Cheat Engine tutorial just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, your games probably will not be this easy. But it is a method you can try. And if you're persistent like I am, when you really want to find that value, uh, this can definitely help you. So you do have another avenue. And this is really good for uh, address shifting values. Uh, address shifting is where when the value changes, it stores it at a different address each time, which you know the regular search uh, functions cannot find it that way. So let me go ahead and bring up my cheat engine and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, also my computer's been freezing a lot lately. I'm in, try, I'm gonna try to build a new one, so I'm kinda saving up money so I can buy a new one. If you'd like to help contribute to that fund, I love you forever. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and bring up the uh, Cheat Engine Tutorial Game 64-bit. And I'm going to be using 7.1. I've had a little bit of trouble with the debugger on 7.2. So I'm just going to try this on 7.1 and we're just going to go to the Health 100. Now I do believe that the Cheat Engine YouTube has something like this on their YouTube so I apologize if I'm doing kind of the same thing but I'm I'm going a little bit beyond what they showed on there I'm going to show you how to find the address we're going to go all the way and find the address itself and let's say we've tried everything we can and we have tried to find these values we're just not able to let's say it's address shifting and the regular search function is just not finding it I didn't mean to bring that up hang on one second Let's go ahead and take that back off. Alright, so first thing we want to do is make sure that Cheat Engine is attached to your game. Go into Memory View, and we're going over here to Tools. Right here, Code Filter. We're going to go ahead and bring that up. <clears throat> and we're going to need Memory Viewer also, so let's go ahead and stretch this out just a little bit here. Bring this down just a little bit. There we go, because we're going to need up here. Alright, so now that we're set up, we're going to go, and I haven't really looked in from Trace Disassembler or from File itself, but we're going to go from Unwind Information. This is what we're doing right now. So we're going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to click on the game itself, the tutorial, EXE. Click OK. Now, every function that is running pertaining to that is being picked up. It's, it's like Cheat Engine cast a net over it and it's just picking up everything that's running as far as that game goes. So we need to weed out functions the same way you would weed out addresses. So we would need to go ahead and press start. And we need to do different things to weed out functions. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some damage. Went down to 95 and we're going to go has been executed. So we know it has been executed. We're down to 619. We need to do other things like changing the size of the screen. That is actually a function. So change the size of the screen. Go into pause menus. Things like that has not been executed. We're down to 77. Highlight certain things uh, use these the bar has not been executed then it goes down and keeps going down like that now we're going to hit this a couple more times went down to 89 has been executed and you see what I'm doing I'm just going back and forth back and forth you know just doing different things trying to weed out running functions and that's all I'm doing so when you do that just come over here until you can weed them down to a few you can try and uh, that's basically what we want to do. And I'm going to try to save us a little bit of time here. I'm not. Don't mash skip. But uh, has not been executed. There we go. We're down about 25, which is pretty good. Let me go ahead and save what I got before my computer freezes, and I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, now here's where the magic happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and basically we're just going to start at the beginning. We go each down each one, and we're going to place a return. It carries us to the beginning of the function, as you see right here. And what we're going to do is we copy and place a return. Now I would recommend going down a little bit and finding out uh, what type of return it is. If it's a return for or just a regular return, then going back to it. Make sure you put in the correct type of return. That may help prevent a crash, and it may crash your game anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to mash hit me or take some damage until you know we don't see this change anymore. And we saw that go away, so that's not what we're looking for. We know we're probably in the ballpark, but we're waiting for that value to freeze. So let's go down here to the next one. And we're going to place a return. Make sure that you're putting these back also. Okay, I don't know because the graphic went away. So let me just bring it back up here and see if I can get the graphic back up. If the graphic don't come back up. There it goes. Okay. So we know that these are just looks like these are having something to do with just the graphic on there so let's just keep going down and this is RBX and that's all I'm doing I'm just going down each one until sorry I accidentally double clicked didn't mean to there we go we're just going down each one until we find something it looks like yeah that's just handling the graphic of it so let's put it back bring it back up okay let's go down to the next one let's save a little bit of time you're gonna go down each one of these and these are gonna handle the graphic of it and get down to this one right here and what I want to do is let's say uh, let's take some more data and say has been executed we're down to 24 and we're down to this one right here we're gonna copy that place a return all right, and that value did change, so we know that's not it. So let's go ahead and uh, put that back up there. So we're going to say has been executed. So that got rid of that one. So the next one on the list is this one right here. Let's go down to it. Let's copy it. And let's paste in or put in a return. Now let's smash it and see what happens. And take a look. Right here, we... Uh, it did not go down so what I recommend doing right off the bat is just go ahead and paste this back on there it did not go down and what I would like to do is that what I do normally is I just take a look around in that particular function and see if anything kind of makes sense to me and I, this is kind of what I look for I look for like things like this like sub move and if it looks like something I've seen in the past or something like that, you, you can kind of tell it, uh, what's going on. You may have to follow calls around also. But I'm just trying to save us a little bit of time here. But when I come down here, I like to investigate things like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, what find out what address this instruction accesses. And what we're going to do is take some damage and take a look at this. Let's go ahead and add that to this cheat engine right here. And let's change that value. Awesome. Looks like we found the address. Now, it may not be within that same function like that. You may have to play around with it. Also, know that before the graphic displays in the game, like it reaches the graphical code it could have already changed the internal value so we are looking for the internal value so I, I go down each one of these and I see if anything makes sense to me whatsoever and then I just start playing around with uh, you know looking up addresses things like that sometimes I may follow a call please understand this is a last resort type method uh, and this is still not guaranteed 100 percent to work for you but as you see it is a plausible way to find it when you've just exhausted every resource uh, so keep that in mind it's uh, all these other games that may have terrible encrypted values and you know you go change the encrypted value uh, 
that this could be another way to maybe go look for it also and you can kind of see you know the encryptions and things like that and just go change different things before it looks like it's being encrypted before some XORs and things and see if that affects the value uh, it's just another way to get to it without actually having to look up that value and that's what I'll recommend so as you see right, right here we can go ahead and place uh, a script on this I'm just going to call this test one And instead of a sub, we're just going to move into that address and we're just going to say move 5,000 or something. I forgot what the scenario was uh, that we need to pass it, but let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and hit it and boom, take a look. And the next button appears. So uh, we're good to go. And we did not have to look up the address itself. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. Uh, I do apologize. It's been a while since I've been able to make a bid towards the end of the, of the year and the beginning of the year at my job. It's real hectic. And, I, you know, I'm working 12, 14-hour shifts every day, and it's really tough. But I got no time whatsoever, and it really sucks. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me, and I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things again real soon. Plus, I need to get that new PC built so I can uh, get back some great games and start hacking those and we get into those again too, which will be very soon also. But uh, I appreciate all the kind remarks that you left me when I left the message on, on the channel. Thank you guys so much. That really just made my day seeing that. Also, uh, I want to thank my partners right quick. These guys uh, contribute to Cheat the Game every month, and they have not abandoned me, and I, I thank them from the bottom of my heart. But it wasn't for them. I'd have to close up shop a long time ago want to thank everybody over at the discord as well as facebook as well uh you guys are the backbone of ctg and it just could not run without you so thank each and every one of you for all you do and all you contribute to ctg we're going to get back into the swing of things and uh hopefully we can i can start getting out at least a bit a week for you and that's what that's what my goal is and that's what i'll be working on so um uh, like I said, sorry again this was so short, but I'm just getting back into the swing of it. So uh, thanks for uh, waiting for me, and uh, we'll catch you next time around, all right? You guys take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, doesn't mind cheating you. You all take care. Now.